Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. We have a very bumpy week ahead of us next week. So it's going to be uh, a session uh, well packed with um, lots of information and charts. So I hope you guys like it. And of course, if you do so, do not forget to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe. So while I wrote the interim disclaimer, you will have the time to do that. See you there. Welcome back guys. Uh, just be before we get started, uh, many of you mailing me saying that um, you cannot get the offer on uh, the course. Uh, I will show you just how to do it. Uh, and by the way, this is uh, today and tomorrow are the last days for the course. So all you need to do is copy Facebook here, the coupon code and just paste it in here before uh, you uh, click the uh, sign up button guys. So that's all so fill in the information here use the coupon code click sign in and you will get that 200 dollars off today and tomorrow are the last um, days to uh, get this offer and then the uh, course will get started so uh, yeah i hope uh, this is going to be helpful for those of you who are having issues with that um let's get started with uh, our real business here um news events as i said it's going to be a bumpy week as you see a lots and lots of news event now for the sterling these economics events here the average hourly earnings and stuff like that they used to be important but right now everything is focused on the uh, parliament brexit post now this is not uh, the right day it should say uh, wednesday uh, the parliament gonna make that vote on wednesday we also have the FOMC so also important this time we are gonna uh, get the FOMC press conference also after the release so uh, we need to listen to Mr. Powell what he have to say we know that the ECB was dovish last um, last time uh, Draghi talked now we're gonna see what the Fed gonna do are they gonna compete who is more dovish this time and of course we continue the week with all the employment uh, numbers um, Swiss SNB um, monetary policy assessment, a uh, lots of lots and news from the sterling again on Thursday, BOE and the uh, official bank rate vote. Um, and on Friday, we get the uh, French and German uh, manufacturing and services PMI. And to add to that, we have from the CAD, the CPI months on months core retail sales. So last week, um, as you saw, everything was uh, strictly about uh, Brexit. And uh, it seems like next week we're going to have uh, the same thing uh, going on. So this is uh, a very important uh, week uh, for news events. So keep an eye on those guys once again let's get started with the chart um we start with the dixie which which was a little bit disappointing for me which um because i am a dollar bull and um as you see the week before we tested previous highs and i was hoping for some kind of correction and continuation so what happened last week was uh, beers was in control from Monday to Friday we've got a dark cloud cover uh, formation here uh, which is usually a uh, reversal signal but still we uh, still have a very important major low here that need to be broken to say that the dollar is um, to reverse bearish from here on the daily time frame that is the same scenario we still have a higher high here up higher than this one we did not break above this previous highs as i said still um, the levels uh, are still in play here as you see we just tested that and um, yeah the thing is we still have higher low as far as uh, this low is not taken out on the daily and the market start trading below this area and the below the 200 moving average on the daily for the dollar i will continue to be bullish now it was a strong bearish week yes 
but still even if we reach this level and start bouncing this could be a possible uh, buy area the 96 level is still a possible buy area on the daily now when we go down to the four hour time frame we see also that here we had uh, the the move we've got after uh, Draghi was very very dovish and uh, we got this push all the way to test previous highs and we opened uh, Monday and start seeing the market pushing lower and lower until uh, Thursday we got a little bit of a bounce at this uh, 96.50 the 200 moving average 618 at this level as well and um, yeah I will start uh, to look for a possible break of this trend line and hopefully a continuation uh, that didn't happen all we got was a retest for a possible broken structure and another bounce lower now technically we have a possible double bottom here with a little bit of a bullish divergence on the rsi as you see um, the um, divergence is clear here but still um, <clears throat> no sign of uh, bulls yet so for this market or for the dollar to start uh, moving higher we wanted to see it at least uh, break the trend line here and the next clear signal would be a break above this neckline on uh, this double bo uh, double bottom if that happened then we have the chance for another retest of monthly are one now uh, the scenario to the downside is that we are gonna need to see a break below previous low break below monthly pivot point and that will open the door for the continuation toward the 96 which is a important level as i showed you on the daily so 96 gonna be next uh, possible market objective and maybe a little bit lower uh, down to test this uh, fake out uh, when we've got this nice fake out before the push to the upside yeah so these are the scenarios for uh, the dollars um, for next week now let's move to gold and on gold we had the break of this um, important trend line we had a very strong push to the downside we didn't really test uh, these lows here as was as i was expecting so <clears throat> still this is not tested and we've got a nice bounce uh, last week to then get on uh, thursday a bearish engulfing candle here which usually is a uh, reversal signal to the downside in this case so what we could have here now it's a bit tricky still on gold what we could have uh, now is uh, such since we broke below this low getting a retest or a correction before the next leg down to maybe test these lows or even go to the outer uh, trend line and the more important trend line which is this one here going like that so um, that's what i'm eyeing here if go if um, dollar to start picking up some momentum then this uh, scenario is very possible that we see the gold moving lower now on the four hour time frame we got a higher high above this range followed by a higher low another higher high and another higher low and on um, late friday we've got this uh, uh, bearish uh, couple of bearish uh, four hour candles now this could be uh, profit taking uh, as well so we could not put a lot of um, um, focus on these two candles yet but uh, i still think that uh, if we test this uh, 1310 area where we have the 200 moving average on the four hour and this previous structures here and this previous high uh, to look for uh, possible uh, troubles on the way if we got rejected once again here got bearish signal there is a possibility that we uh, dip down once again till uh, 1295 area of course if we break below this then we're gonna uh, maybe keep testing even lower for gold to keep moving higher or keep continue this bullish move uh, we want to see a break above uh, this previous high and the 200 moving average and if that happened then there is a possibility for a deeper correction which is gonna take us to the 618 fibonacci of this whole leg to the downside where we also have the monthly pivot point and previous structures okay so those are the scenarios for gold let's take a look on oil which was uh, pretty strong last week um, as you see if we go to the daily we still have 
higher highs and higher lows we've got this consolidation or correction which dipped back down to the yearly pivot point which i mentioned as an important level not only for uh, it is a yearly pivot point but also because it's been tested previously as you see as support and uh, resistance so this uh, 55 level gonna keep being a key level now <clears throat> We broke above this high, of course, but still we are testing another important level, which was this area here was testing uh, tested as both uh, resistance and support previously. So keep an eye on this area uh, for oil to keep pushing higher. It really to uh, need a strong catalyst to do so. And uh, I'm not sure what the catalyst is yet. Uh, the stock market been pushing higher, but also those reached a very, very important level. And even there, we do not really have a real catalyst yet to make the break. So still, even though we've got this nice uh, breakout and we've got retest already and we're pushing higher, keep an eye on this level as a possible level uh, trouble area for another uh, maybe push lower i'm expecting more likely that we keep uh, going sideways inside this range for a while before any uh, major move i do not see the catalyst for that but who knows what may happen so <clears throat> for oil uh, really to keep pushing higher we need to see a break and uh, that the market hold above the 59 and if that happened that we uh, break and hold above it then there is a possibility for a, a continuation and that would be uh, the next market objective could be the monthly r2 up here and this uh, previous uh, structure level uh, once again where we have the around the 62 level yeah um, so those are the scenarios for oil euro usd also, um, I was expecting a, a retest and a continuation to the downside after this strong break below this low and even this low here. Um, this was the day we've got uh, the speech from Mr. Draghi where he was very dovish and um, I was expecting the continuation. I still expecting the continuation and I did send a tweet to you guys. Uh, telling you this won't be easy, by the way. Uh, about Twitter I am very very active nowadays and I will I am thinking to grow my Twitter account so down here you have my Twitter account go to Twitter uh, search me up and uh, <coughs> follow on Twitter because I'm sending lots and lots uh, of updates over there here we can see a little bit of what's going on so as you see uh, many tweets every day to keep you guys updated about uh, what's happening in the markets and uh, other uh, trading psychology stuff so uh, lots of tweets going on here we talked about oil before the break and stuff like that a little bit um, of um, currencies as well so I highly recommend you to uh, uh, follow me on uh, Twitter as well. And again, when the market start reaching this level, I said, guys, uh, this is going to be very crowded. Everyone was shorting the euro around this area, uh, the 1.13. Uh, I myself did so as well, but I hedged also my position after the break above it and uh, yeah we've been talking about this uh, almost the whole week in our trading room and uh, joking about it and whatever so um, still as signals we have a, um, a bearish divergence on the four hour right now we reach a 618 fibonacci of this whole leg we reach at the 200 moving average on the four hour uh, we have this trend line still coming from this area not tested yet but uh, this uh, also showing us that we could still be bearish on this market actually to to turn bullish on the euro we need to see a break above uh, the daily high here this is the key level to really change that bias we're still below the 200 uh, moving average on the daily as well so as signal to short it right now we do have um, one signal we we have uh, <clears throat> the uh, bearish um, 
divergence on the RSI. We had uh, shooting star formation here on the first leg, bearish engulfing candle on this one here. We never had such a candle on this whole move to the upside. So this was a strong push lower. This was the biggest bearish candle we've got so far, followed by another bearish engulfing and then the re uh, the try to push higher again got rejected so now we have maybe even more bulls trapped inside this so what I'm looking for to really be sure to um, to uh, close my long hedge I want to see a break and close uh, that the market holds below 113 um, then that will open the door for another push lower maybe toward uh, this uh, previous structure once again at least <clears throat> okay I'm not interesting to, to trade this market to the upside until I see a break above the trend line above the uh, monthly pivot point uh, up here as well this cross area so until that I'm uh, bearish if that happened then we um, discussed that when uh, the scenario happened yeah Sterling, we do have uh, still um, very, very uh, bumpy trading on the Sterling and you need to really uh, be aware of that. On the daily, we still have higher highs and higher lows, higher high, higher low. Last week, a very, very strong push higher here. The day before, we've got <clears throat> a up and down movement, uh, chopping around. But still seems like more and more uh, the things was um, the market expecting uh, positive uh, Brexit news. And that's why we still uh, see the uh, they are pricing in higher uh, moves and uh, continuation. In any case, nothing will happen until we see a break above this high. This need to happen. As for now, we do have possible double top with a bearish uh, divergence on the RSI on the daily. But with all this uh, Brexit risk we have, uh, you need to be you need to really be careful guys because uh, you cannot like uh, just uh, enter the market hoping that uh, something will happen we need to be clear what are the levels we are working with and stuff like that and uh, even uh, we do have great levels those news event um, keep coming all the time and may uh, chop you around as it happens here a push higher to push all the way back down to then push up again the technical levels are still the uh, 1.30 uh, down here still your major major support and up here uh, 1.335 uh, is a key resistance so you need to play those levels so far until um, you see a breakout my uh, recommendation would be actually to stay out of it but it's uh, up to you guys um, USD Jappy still nothing new here 111 is our support 112 is uh, our resistance and we should keep playing those levels until we see a uh, some kind of uh, breakout uh, of that we playing around the 200 moving average close below it close above it uh, still no clear direction we move to a higher range we could not make a higher high here on this move so this is very important uh, to see that we could not uh, bre breach the 112 and uh, close above previous highs what we had what we've got was a lower high so there is a possibility that this keep uh, pushing all the way back down to 111 once again and keep trading around inside this range that is very very possible otherwise a break below could send us back down to this uh, trend line that we may have going on at the moment so a breach of this area send us toward the trend line or probably to test these lows down here even if those got taken out what we're gonna have is the 110 which is an even stronger support uh, to look for a buys at but at the moment we still have uh, the same levels 111 112 those are the range that you should be playing until we see a breakout usd cad 
I'm still bullish on this. We had a nice double bottom breakout and retest. I was looking for some kind of 2618 trade. The market did not reach 618 yet. What we got was a 50% retracement of this whole leg to the upside uh, here. So uh, we uh, saw the market moving back down to the 50%, testing the neckline here also. Uh, and uh, a little bit of a bounce higher. So where the market have this double bottom here uh, from uh, last week is still a clear, a clear a good level to look at. On the one hour time frame, we have uh, a break above it. Now we've got uh, a retest and I still see uh, if we're gonna uh, test this market to the downside once again, to uh, keep an eye on this level as possible support level and then a baby a bounce higher to be clear about the long uh, really sure about that it may go what you want to see is um, a break above this structure once again and above the 200 moving average on the one hour that would be a clear signal for that uh, continuation for uh, usd cad to the upside uh, downside risk is of course if we break below this uh, double bottom if that break happens uh, as you see here we have a big void here in the market and uh, we have a big gap that may uh, got filled uh, if that break happened we start talking about monthly pivot yearly pivot and this previous structure level even uh, the uh, trend line here uh, gonna be in play as well if uh, the downside scenario happened but i am more for the upside uh, continuation on uh, on this market aussie usd also um tested an interesting level um, we talked about this monthly s1 previous neckline here and this support area we've got a nice bounce higher to retest this uh, structure so structure wise we do actually have lower lows and lower highs on this market so the question is did we get another lower high and we're gonna continue lower now or was it just a uh, uh, a little bit bounce on a previous uh, broken structure which we're gonna see better on the four hour time frame so the question is on the four hour we broke strongly below this but also on the four hour we start having a possible major higher low here so the look of it right now if you look at this it look more than and more that as a possible build up for a continuation for uh, another leg to the upside and uh, that is a little bit tricky when we have such a scenarios because what we could have here is one leg down correction or retest of structure and another move lower that is still a possible case uh, as well so um, keep an eye on this uh, it's gonna be a little bit tricky but in any case a break above uh, these highs here will signal a continuation to the upside this should be your filter if broken i see a possible move to the upside or if we uh, get a break below this uh, trend line then there is a possibility for a continuation on this market um, USD chief looking also uh, bearish last week, but still, if we're gonna look at the daily structure, <clears throat> higher highs and higher lows still going. We tested a pretty important level, which was this high up here. After breaking this high, we tested the last line of defense on this market. We still have a little bit of highs here to get tested around the monthly R2. Uh, on this market uh, but what I'm looking for mostly for next week is uh, this cross area between the trend line the possible trend line it is only two touches actually 
uh, and uh, we also have the monthly pivot point and we have a previous structure of possible support and resistance so this down here gonna be a key level to look for a possible bounce or if we gonna break that will open the door for a retest of monthly s1 and possibly the 200 moving average down here on this market uh, New Zealand USD also um, a bit tricky this could continue to the upside after a strong push higher this could be seen as a possible correction and uh, maybe a continuation to the upside to test these previous highs or maybe also to test monthly R1 so far it seems like the yearly pivot point giving this market uh, some troubles on the way up so here we have it on the four hour we've got a very strong push to the upside correction and i'm looking to see if we gonna get a break above this trend line and break above the yearly pivot point if that happen then this signaling a continuation to the upside while the one hour telling a little bit different story yeah so the one hour what we've got was lower lows and lower highs still this is gonna be the major low you want to see broken to say that this will go down once again as far this low is holding this market uh, oops uh, let's go back to that chart uh, this market may keep continue to the upside so what to look for next week guys is uh, now we've got rejected from this trend line once again <clears throat> we tested yearly pivot point yet another time and got rejected a little bit so down here monthly pivot point and these uh, previous structure levels could be a possible support uh, area at that time maybe the 200 moving average on the one hour uh, reached this level to look for a possible at least short term bounce here uh, I repeat we start getting a little bit uh, tricky area a little bit choppy right now for a clear view you want to see this market above the trend line above the yearly pivot point once again and that uh, the retest hold the last time we was above it but the retest did not hold we pushed lower and lower once again so if that happened uh, that is a not a good sign but if we broke on the retest we held then there is a possibility for continuation to uh, the downside i will say it again you need to see this structure broken for more downside this low here need to be broken if this market gonna continues lower okay so uh, yeah that was uh, new zealand usd let me uh, give you also um, uh, a little bit of a look of what's going on in the stock market uh, because many been asking about that breakout uh, on the s p 500 you see that the s p 500 did actually uh, break a multi-month high here uh, you see that we had this uh, triple top or quadruple top here that got uh, broken uh, everyone was looking at this possible uh, double top scenario um, but this is now broken technically we have a breakout but really guys fundamentally i i'm not sure if we really have um if we really have uh, the uh, right market condition i would say for uh, this to keep pushing to uh, another all-time high i think uh, and of course it is the main move from this um, this whole push from the start of the year all the way back here was based on a better <clears throat> a little bit better sentiment about the uh, uh, the talk between uh, US and China and the trade war was going a little bit better we got this whole move to the downside because of that uh, trade war and now I think most of that good sentiment is already priced in in this market um, I don't see uh, the global market um, picking up uh, what we see is actually um, the opposite uh, most of the signs uh, globally are looking um, 
not so good, especially uh, China. Yeah, the uh, employment in the, U in the U.S. still doing good, but uh, the, the um, consumer uh, um, sentiment, the CPI is speaking down. So there is not so much sign saying that we are in a, such a market condition to keep pushing higher. So I will not put a lot of uh, thinking about this breakout yet until I see this market really holding above this level um, given us some kind of um, continuation yet yeah, this could be just a trap in my opinion and this market still could uh, start moving lower once again so I'm not really really convinced about this breakout guys uh, but let the market show us if it means it or not next week we are gonna sh for sure uh, see those uh, signs but if that was the case that we just have some kind of fake out do not expect this market to just start uh, dipping all the way down what i'm thinking is that we possibly gonna go back down uh, toward the 200 moving average toward this area and maybe start consolidating until we get that um, meeting between uh, chi and trump and if that happened with some great events okay uh, news i would say then maybe but really guys i think uh, everything about <clears throat> good news uh, in the trade wars to me is already uh, priced in we uh, see more and more that investor our uh, investor money uh, outflowing from the uh, s p and uh, inflows are mostly etfs and um, other uh, funds so investors are not putting their money in the SP right now to be aware of that so <clears throat> i talked about that to just show you the uh, dow uh, chart and to see that the dow still have uh, some room to reach this same level that uh, the s p uh, did reach so the dow may maybe still have some room to test these highs um, the Dow got um, uh, a bit slower based on that uh, Boeing issue um, and since the Boeing uh, is uh, very very big that is surely affect uh, this index but what we should be looking for here is still to see this monthly pivot point as a possible uh, support area if retested I think uh, the Dow market objective could be uh, a possible retest to this level before another uh, rejection but keep an eye on that s p 500 that is uh, the main market that you should be watching and uh, if uh, the f s p keep pushing higher of course the dow will follow despite uh, that uh, boeing problem i think most of the um the fear in the Boeing um, issue is already uh, priced in uh, on that stock as well. So yeah, that was it guys. Thanks a lot and uh, see you uh, next week. Once again, for those of you who are still thinking about joining the course, go to my uh, webpage. Uh, you have the link um, down here, um, www.pi-fx.com. And uh, once again, follow me on Twitter as well. I'm very, very active uh, over there and uh, I will grow a community over Twitter. So do that as well. Thanks a lot. See you next week. Bye bye.